Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. I have never done one of these before, um, but if you're new here, I have two toddlers. I stay at home with them. I have a just turned three year old and I have an 18 month old. So I need very like simple, quick, easy meal ideas for myself and my kids, but especially for myself, I need things that I can just hide in the pantry and eat so they don't see me and ask for a bite. Raise your hand if you can relate. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat meowing. Um, I say this like in all my videos where I'm talking to the camera, but she thinks I'm talking to her and so then she just talks back to me. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on another video of mine and let's get into it. So first of all, I am not a big breakfast person. I wake up with like no appetite. It takes me a while to get hungry in the morning. So I always start off with coffee. On this morning, we woke up around like 6.45 and Alex came down and made my coffee for me. Usually one of us will stay upstairs and get the kids up and get them ready to come downstairs while the other one comes down and starts on coffee, starts unloading the dishwasher, um, just like whatever needs to be done in the morning, getting the kids breakfast ready for them. So he came down, he made my coffee for me and I just do like whatever creamer I place on grocery order that week. I don't have any kind of like go-to thing. I'm not picky about, I'm not really picky about anything whenever it comes to what I eat, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm not picky about my coffee creamer. So I had that around seven o'clock and then I started to get hungry around 7.30, which is pretty early for me. Normally it's like between eight and nine I start to get hungry. So after um, I get my coffee ready, I always fill up my big tumbler. This is like a Stanley dupe, it's from Pink Lily. It's a lot cheaper than the Stanley and I don't own a Stanley so I can't compare them, but I'm pretty sure it's like the exact same thing and it keeps your water, water cold. If you've been wanting a nice big cup like that, but you don't want to spend, I think Stanley's are like $60 or something, I don't even know. Um, if you don't want to spend that much money, check the Pink Lily um, and there's always a discount code that you can use. Right now for the month of July, you can use code JULY20 off like I think anything on the website and it'll give you 20% off. So get yourself a nice big water cup. But if you don't drink water, girl, drink your water. I drink like two to three of these throughout the entire day. I'm constantly refilling it and other than coffee, Alex and I neither one drink anything besides water. Um, we don't do lemonade, we don't do soda, like every once in a while, maybe we go out to eat, we'll get something like that, but we never ever have it in the house unless it's like for a birthday party or something. Um, so yeah, your body needs water, so drink your water, guys. Like I said, I don't have much of an appetite in the morning, so I'm a big snacker. I kind of just like snack throughout the morning. Whenever I get hungry, I just grab something small and quick because my stomach just like can't handle an actual full meal in the morning for whatever reason. So I had a Laura bar. Um, those are really good. I had the lemon kind. And so then around eight, I started getting hungry again. So I just ate an apple again, just something like super quick. I can eat it with one hand if I need to pick up a kid or do something for them. Um, and then around 9.15, I had some lunch meat. I had some deli ham and I forgot to mention, I'm ordering groceries today. I just filmed this yesterday. So we are like at the very end of the week long span of whenever we get groceries. So we had like not a whole lot, but before I went to bed the other night, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna film what I eat in a day tomorrow. So I literally didn't plan anything. I was like, I'm just gonna put the camera downstairs and anytime I eat something, I'm gonna film it. And so this is like super genuine. This is not any kind of like planned out, thought out thing, just genuinely what I'm eating whenever we really need groceries. So normally I would eat like string cheese or any kind of snack cheese. That's like a go-to thing for me, but we were out of that. So that's why I grabbed the ham. And um, I just felt like my body Needed a little bit of protein since my morning had been pretty carb heavy. So I ate that around 9.15 and then I took the kids to the trampoline park and then we came home and had lunch. We had lunch around 11.15. Um, we were eating leftover white chicken chili. 90% of the time whenever we eat lunch, it's leftovers from dinner the night before. If we have leftovers from dinner, which we usually do, we always eat them for lunch because it's just so much easier and obviously a lot more cost effective. You don't want to waste food. Um, so I do have this recipe on my channel in a what's for dinner video. All you do is put your chicken in the bottom of the crock pot and then you do your seasonings. I do salt, pepper, chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, and then a little bit of cayenne because we like spicy. And then you add two cans of white beans, a can of corn, a can of rotel, a container of chicken broth, 
cook it until the chicken's done, shred the, shred the chicken, put it back in, and then add some cream cheese and a fourth cup of heavy cream until that's like all melted and mixed together. It is so good. Both of my kids, two toddlers, and toddlers are known for being picky, they both ate two full bowls of this and they both asked for a third bowl, but I told them that they would get a tummy ache, so. So I had just like one normal size bowl, so that's what we did for lunch. And then once the kids go down for their nap around 12.30, I have a second cup of coffee. I just kinda need it. My kids are napping right now. My kids are napping right now and as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm making myself some coffee and I'm cleaning my house. I just, I need my afternoon coffee. Around 12.30 and then I had some crackers as a snack at one o'clock. These like sandwich crackers are my favorite. I do prefer like the cheese ones, but I already ate all of those, <laughs> like I said. Um, we need groceries, so I had the peanut butter ones. And then I didn't eat anything else until 4.30. Normally I wouldn't eat that close to dinner time, but we had swim lessons last night, so it's gonna be a late dinner and I was starving like at 4.30. I scarfed down a packet of tuna on the way to swim lessons. Um, now this is obviously not something that I eat every single day. If you didn't know, you should not eat tuna every day. You can get mercury poisoning from it, so don't do that. And I don't know if like most people like tuna. Like I said in the intro, I'm not picky. I eat anything. Um, including seafood. I love seafood and I love tuna. So this is just perfect for me to eat in the car and the kids don't really bug me about eating it because I don't know if they would even like it. Um, so then whenever we came home from swim lessons, we had dinner around like 6.45. This is really late for us, but we leave for swim lessons at like 4.30. So it's obviously too early to eat dinner then. And then when we get home, it's like 6.45. So um, I always do a crock pot meal whenever we have swim lessons because it's obviously way too late to come home at almost 7 o'clock and start cooking whenever my youngest has 7 o'clock bedtime. Interrupting the video because I want to share that I'm using a crock pot liner and I don't want to get hate for it and I don't want people to think that I actually use these things. My crock pot cracked and I ordered another one and it has not arrived yet. It's actually coming tomorrow. So I obviously didn't want to cook with a, crock, a cracked crock pot. Um, so this is the first time I've ever used a liner, so I don't recommend anyone using them. I just want to make it known that I don't actually use them. Um, let's get back. So I made potato soup for dinner and I kind of felt bad because it was 101 yesterday. The heat index was 114. I love soup. I don't mind eating it in the summertime when it's hot if I'm inside where there's air conditioning. Um, but if you're doing a crock pot meal, it's usually something kind of like soup. So this potato soup is like the easiest recipe ever and it is so good so what you're gonna do is just dice up an onion i did a white onion and then you're gonna use frozen hash browns which is really nice you don't have to peel and cut up a bunch of potatoes especially if you're a mom of littles and you have a baby on your hip a lot of the times like i do um so you do 30 ounces of frozen hash browns and then you add two cans of chicken broth um a can of cream of chicken soup you do the onions and then some pepper. I don't use any salt because I feel like the bacon adds enough of that. Um, but if you need more salt, obviously you can do that. And then I cooked it on low for four hours and then you add one block of cream cheese. Now I didn't realize that I only had half a block left, so I added that. And then I decided to add in some sour cream and a little bit of heavy cream because I knew it needed like more creaminess to it since I only had half of the cream cheese. Um, and it was really good. I don't think if I hadn't known that there was a difference that I would have noticed it. Um, and then something else that makes this recipe different besides the hash browns is that you don't like add the bacon into the soup. You use it as a garnish. That way the bacon doesn't get like really slimy and soggy. It's still like nice and crispy in the way that you want bacon to be while you're eating your soup. So I forgot to mention that before I like started dicing up my onion or anything like that, I do... I do cook the bacon first, just diced up, cook it. Um, so that way while I'm doing everything else, the bacon can cook in the pan. And then you're gonna garnish it with bacon, cheddar cheese, and then also supposed to do green onions. I didn't have any, I did order some on the last grocery order and the store said that they allegedly were out of green onions. So I didn't have any, but it's much better with them. So definitely use those. And this is another toddler friendly meal. Again, both of my kids ate two full bowls of this and asked for a third bowl, but I again told them that they would get a tummy ache, so. And I was starving by the time we got home. I was like, that tuna did not like fill me up enough before we left, so by the time we got home, I was like famished. Plus it was my turn to swim with Eva. And even though like, I'm not actually swimming, something about just being in the water, I don't know if it's just me, but being in the water, even if I'm not like exerting a lot of energy, still makes me hungry. So I came home, I ate one and a half bowls at 6.45, 
And then the kids went down, ate another bowl at 8.30 because I was still hungry. And then we had a look for leftovers for lunch today and Eva ate two bowls again. I don't think Jonah was very hungry because he didn't touch his and he loved it last night, but Eva ate hers and then she went over to his chair and ate all of his. So, um, yeah, if you need a super simple, easy crock pot meal, um, and if you're vegetarian, obviously you can just like omit the bacon and then um, that is good too. So after two and a half bowls of that, around nine o'clock, Alex and I had some popcorn. We watch Criminal Minds pretty much every single night. Um, it's just like one of our go-to kind of comfort shows, which I know sounds weird because it's like kind of not a comfortable show, but we love it. We've been watching it for years. So we watch that almost every night. And so we had some popcorn with that as a snack. And then I went to bed at like 10.30. So that is everything that I ate yesterday. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's like not super long. It's probably gonna be really short once I edit it. Um, but I don't really know how else to like drag it out. Um, I feel like it's just pretty straightforward. I tell you what I eat and I show it to you and then that's that. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm very close to 800. So please help me get there. Please subscribe. And I will see you guys in a few days with the cleaning video.